Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and this is Devotional Corner and today we have a guest, her name is Pushti and the topic is God is close to the broken hearted. You know, we are going through Corona and a lot of us are feeling broken hearted right now. So to begin, she will just tell us a little about herself. She's also a fellow YouTuber. I'll leave her link in the description and tell us about yourself. Hello. I am Lady T and I am the creator at Push Lady T the um, YouTube channel. And I put out videos every Tuesday, just encouraging words, things that I know that everyone just needs that encouragement every once in a while. So that's one of the things, even more so right now, as we're going back out, getting past this um, COVID, post-COVID world. But the push, for the push community, we believe in the power of prayer. So that's what the push stands for. Pray until something happens. So even if you're not seeing it, we walk in by faith, keep praying and keep pushing don't give up yes you know we're going through COVID, and it's a hard time so many people are broken hearted so many people has lost their life but despite of all of that god he's still close to us he's a loving and a caring father but to begin we will go into our scripture reading today and the scripture reading is Psalms 34, verse 18, and it says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and save those who are crushed in spirit. So you want to just expound on that scripture reading and just share something about how you are able to trust God in your brokenness. That he is close to the brokenhearted. I, I love that, and that is so true. Um, there have been times in my life when I have been broken. Um, we're, we're all going through or have been through some type of brokenness. That's just part of, part of life. But God can be, he has shown himself so faithful that during those times when I felt like it has been a dark place or a dark time in my life that he was there and I actually drew closer to him. And that's one of the things I would always encourage people to do that when you do find yourself, when you're going through something, that you actually draw closer to him and he will be there to answer you and walk you through it. So that's the main thing that you won't stay in that place where you're at. It won't be like this always. Things will get better. Yes, things will do get better. You know, when I think of trusting God through bro brokenness, I think of the children of Israel where for 40 years, for years, they wondered, they, they worried, they asked, where is God? But what they didn't know that in that time that God was actually preparing them a, a actual deliver. And also when I think about that is like, Pharaoh wanted to kill all the firstborn and the same person, Moses, that he wanted to kill, he actually had to end up raising that person you know and it shows you how amazing god is like sometimes people say that god has a very funny sense of humor you know so through all our brokenness through all when we feel like things are not going really well we can see that god is still an amazing and a great god you know he's a, he's an amazing god you know so how were you like able to overcome your pain and your struggle? What actually motivates you? You know, because sometimes we feel as if God, He's not very, He's not very close to us. One of the things is, I, I found getting in His Word, like getting in and actually just starting to read God's Word, that the the scriptures God was bringing me to, the scriptures God has brought me to when I've been going through different things in my life. I've, you know, I've been through seasons where I've had issues with my health. I'm a cancer survivor. I've had issues in my marriage. I've had issues with my children. I've had issues with my finances. Anything, you name it, pretty much I've, I've had those different issues. And that's just part of life. But what I found that is I get into the scriptures and I stand on God's word where he tells me I'll never leave you nor forsake you that I stand on that and I bring that back to him, that um, that he would actually not only that he speaks to me through his word, but I even was finding during certain times because of trusting God in his timing, like when you were saying with Moses, 
<clears throat> it had to be during that time for Moses to grow up to be that savior. But God, even um, one of the times when I was going through a really broken and a really hard time in my life, I kept seeing this truck that just said slow ride, slow ride. Well, he was just reminding me that I'm gonna, you're going to get through it, but it's going to take time. Like you, it's going to be a slow ride to get there. And I had to, had to just trust him despite all of that. And, but God has always been faithful. He's always been faithful to answer me. And he's always been faithful to be there. Um, even in those hard times that I was going through. Yes. You know, sometimes it feels as if God is not close. I would say through my life growing up, I've always felt I had God, even though sometimes it's broken. Because I remember my mom left me at a tender age of three, you know, and I was from home to home. I lived with my aunt, I lived with my cousin. And throughout the time I was, I didn't feel like no one cared. I always felt like an outsider. You know, at the age of six, I remember I started going to church on my own. I told my cousin, I want to start to go to church, you know. Then after I moved, I went and lived with my aunt. And then I found a church on my own. And this, this lady, she, I would always sit beside her in church. You know, I've always, I feel like God is close to me. I feel like through being alone, not having anyone. I remember one day my aunt, you know, sometimes she said, what happened? I remember one time I stopped going to church, you know, she said, you should go to church. I'll walk you down the street, you know, and looking back, you realize that even though it was not the best situation. They could see something good, you know, that we must always try and trust God because we're human, you know, and because of sin, sin came into this world and it disrupted everything, you know. So life is not going to be easy. Life is going to be so hard. And sometimes we will feel lost, you know, but there's, there are days when I feel really lost, you know, I feel like I can't go on, but then I, sometimes I feel as if God has pat me on the back and we always have to remember that God is there. And sometimes he goes through the fire with us. He said in the Bible, if you make a bed in hell, I will be there. You know, sometimes physically we may not see the result, but behind the scenes God is actually working things out for you you know have you ever like really wanted something so bad and after you know you you realize that you're happy that God has never actually given it to you <laughs> yeah there are times when that God's no is is good for us that he didn't give it to you when you look back um it may have been somebody you dated at one time and then you see where they at now and you're like oh that was you know glad God didn't answer that that prayer <laughs> sometimes he knows more than we do and he does that's the whole thing I would tell people all we know is this moment right now what's happening right now in this time but God already knows what's going to happen ahead of ahead of things and so he's always preparing you and the same thing with the people that he allows in your life or he takes away out of your life um, sometimes people are only there for a season a reason I say they either in your life or a reason a season or a lifetime and um, just appreciating um, and understanding and being okay when that season is over with because everyone can't go everywhere that you that God is going to be taking you yes that's so true that's so true um, I once heard that Whenever someone come in your life, it's like different part of the tree is like the root, you know, no matter what, they're there, the leaves, the wind come, they go here, the wind come, they go there, you know, and the branches, you know, sometimes, I think what Tyler Perry said, no, sometimes the branches can fool you too, because the branches, sometimes the wind come, but they're still there, and you think that they are stable, and they are not, you know, but a root, when the root is there, no matter... Yeah. The storm may come, you know, the wind may come, so many things may come, but it, the root is there, you know, so we just have to really try and trust God, but trusting God is really, really hard, you know, so we may sit here and say that, oh, trusting God, so what advice would you give to someone that, you know, they're going through a hard time, maybe they could have lost, lost their husband, lost their kids, you know, and they feel like, they can't go on, you know, um, since you've been through that situation, what can you tell that person? I haven't been through 
where I personally lost um, as far as a spouse or a child or anything, but uh, um, I know those type of losses are things that some, some, some part of you will never get over that. But we do have to trust God to heal us. And, you know, he tells us he's not only close to the brokenhearted, but that he sees every tear. He bottles every tear. And it tells us how he can give us a peace that surpasses understanding. So I know there are times when I have been through things in my life whereby looking at me on the outside, you had no idea what was going on. But the reason why I had that peace the reason why I could walk and have that peace is because that was that was the Holy Spirit. That was God keeping me in that time. So that's what I would say. If you're going through that, if you've had and experienced a loss, that you are truly seeking him and trusting him that he will give you that peace that surpasses understanding that peace because you don't understand or you may have questions why this has happened to you. But trusting that he still has good plans for you and he still will bring you, um, he will carry you through this to the other side. And, and even in your difficulties, he'll get you, he will be the one to get you through it. I Walking on our faith and having that, that faith in the beginning is very important because sometimes when you get that bad news, if you didn't have faith, sometimes it could take you out or it'll take you whereby you you go to the wrong thing. You start going into drugs or you start going to other things to try to get something to numb the pain that you're going through. Whereby if you're walking on your faith and you trust in God, then he is the one that gives you, he is that drug that's going to soothe you and going to give you that peace that you need. And his peace is something that when I wake up the next day, I will still have whereby I won't have to go back and get um, go into some kind of substance to just help me forget it, to get that total healing. Yes, that's so true. I remember in 2019, I lost a cousin to um, cervical cancer, you know, and I didn't know she was sick. I remember one day my mom called and said, have you spoke to your cousin? I said, yeah, like two months ago, two months ago. And she said, no, she's actually she's terminally ill. I was like, that's crazy. Then I eventually got you to her and she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't want anyone to know. And I remember I love food. <laughs> so I did fast it for two days and I prayed and I said, God, you know, heal, heal my cousin. Cause um, she, the youngest child she has is three years of age. And I was really worried about her. And I prayed, you know, I prayed and I asked God, you know, deliver her just for her kids. And um, I remember Saturday morning, you know, um, I got a call from my cousin. She died exactly 5 a.m., you know. And then my cousin was saying the Friday night before they went and they prayed with her. But the thing is she couldn't eat or anything. So with a tube and I said her, her face just light up and my cousin said she knew she was going to die. She looked to, from that state, from being sad to this glow on her face, you know? And she said, I knew she was going to die. You know, I just leave it to God. I make, I make peace with it. So um, I think that's kind of hard, you know, but I've learned, I've asked God, I said to God, I am not going to question you, you know, because you know it best. But sometimes it's really hard not to question God. But I just want, as we leave, you know, that whoever is listening, they may learn to trust God in the hardest time because he's always there and in his word. He promised that he will never, ever leave us or forsake us, that he's always there. Sometimes we feel like his presence is not there, you know, but we want to trust and believe that God is always there and he has never, ever failed us do you have any closing words and that that is so true that he is always there he and that's no matter what you are going through even if you feel like you are all by yourself you are not alone god is there with you and you can cry out to him you can tell him things he already knows anyway but you can you can just cry out to him and tell him 
your brokenness. You can tell him you're angry. You can tell him you're upset or you can question him about why this is happening. You may not get the answer right away, but I would encourage you to, to pray, to pray to God. And, um, and sometimes we just have to be still. And some of the things that I have used when I have been in those difficult times is I, I believe in listening to, um, listening to gospel music. So sometimes I'll just go and just turn on the gospel music and, and just let that start ministering to you. Because not only will God's word minister to you, having, hearing, his, um, hearing that music will minister to your soul and where you can come back out of that stronger like you know I, I may be this way right now but God help me help me walk through this um where he will walk he will be faithful to walk you through don't give up continue to pray and continue to believe that things will get better it takes time but things will get better Awesome. Thank you so much for coming, Pushti, and thank you for your ministry and hope that you will just continue to touch lives as you go throughout your, your day. You know, thank you so much and may God continue to bless you. Thank you for having me.